Hello everybody, my name is Alex and welcome to episode 11 in this playthrough of Civilization 6 as Indonesia. So we've got a lot of Pacific and um, kind of Asian nations in this game and we're just battling, we're battling a losing fight honestly. We are fighting a losing battle, there we go, I've got that the right way around. Um, yeah, we, we, Australia who are here, we can see they're sending some caro, what are they? Fruit, what are they? Yeah, some caravels, I was right first time around. They're the most powerful nation in the world, so we're really going to be scared of them. Um, yeah, just to start off with, I'm going to apologise for this video being quite a short video. I've got, um, we've had like decorators and builders in all week because my mum wanted some work done on the house. So, although I was off uni all week, I had deadlines, I had all sorts, so uh, recording's been a pain in the backside. Finding time to record has been an absolute nightmare. So that's just why this episode's a bit short. Next week, normal service will be resumed. I'll be uploading a lot more videos. Hoping to get far out, so to civilization, as usual. Excuse me, a bit longer and some other stuff. Um, so yes, also thank you for everyone who's supporting the series and let's crack on into it. So I think we can just end the turn and everything should kind of function as it should. Follow its instructions. Oh my god, I've just got up and you can really tell. I'm like half asleep. Oh, shut up. Every time, I mean, it's, oh. Right. I will show her up at some point. How many builds have we got left? We've got one build left, so... I'm guessing we're going to work on the fish. Which we have just gained, I think, yeah. I think we just gained this tile, so yeah. We'll work on the fish, so that'll give us an extra food and two gold, which should help Tarante grow. I think we've sent a galley down here to kind of provide naval support for the city. But I have a feeling that's going to take about 20 turns or something silly like that. So we're way off. Uh, we have some settlers here. Okay. We have to wait till next turn. How sad is that? But then we'll get marble. What? Why? Oh, what a way to start the session. By this guy piping up again. You must know how to live a divine life. Alright, I accept I have no holy sites. But you, like... You have weird earrings. Yeah, that's that's a really crap comeback. Maybe they're in fashion in certain parts of the world. If you do like them kind of earrings, I, I apologise. I'm only joking. So now the Kama haters, but that is kind of a good thing. Because we want to expand our empire and he starts riling us up and mocking us and laughing at us because we're not religious. We'll show him the full force of the Indonesian navy. And then we'll we'll probably lose. No, we won't. We will be successful. We will take many cities. Just having a drink of water there. Beautiful. Be okay. So we've basically got construction. I'll change our research in a second. We have now built... A, got another trader, actually. We've not built another one. I think just one of the trade routes kind of ran its course. So where do we want to send this? We definitely don't want to send it to the Kama. Although we'll be importing a bit of faith, which is which should be nice. We are making 19 faith, which isn't that bad. I think it's probably the holy sites he's got a problem with. We definitely don't want to send him there, because he'll probably just loot it. Um, he'll get all angry with us, declare war, and loot it. Um, so our other options are... We, can, we could possibly send it down to these islands, help them grow, get them to feed off each other, but I think they're doing okay at the moment. I don't think we particularly need trade routes to boost growth. Maybe we will in the future. But what I really want is money. Because if we can keep getting cash coming in, be in a very good position. Now, so that leaves either Preslav, the new city-state, which has a mission to trigger an inspiration for Mercant. I think we've already got that, so that won't be happening. We can send it to Preslav. They give them the same bonuses. Nice. So Preslav and Hong Kong give us the same bonuses. And they're both kind of in range of what we can defend. This is kind of our area of influence, or shall we come our area of influence until Gandhi and his elephant settle a city somewhere around here. But until that point, this is definitely our area of influence, so I don't think it really matters. I think we'll go Preslav, because it should probably be easy to defend. Yeah. So that's plus 8 gold and plus 1 production per turn, which is lovely. 
Yeah, okay, shut up. Ooh, there he is. There's Gant. I've seen him. I've seen his borders. I have seen his borders. Look. Here we are. Oh, God. I'll just put... No, sorry, Gandhi. I didn't mean to disturb you from you warmongering. Yeah, I know what Gandhi's like. Alright, so we've got a housing issue in Banja Masin, but that's okay, because we have some builders. So, you head over here. Can we build a camping anywhere to kind of boost housing? Oh, uh, we can, yeah. Yeah, we can, we, we should be able to do that. So, we'll get them moving over there and have another look at it in a couple of turns. Research-wise, what do we want? So, castles have a eureka of a government with six policy slots but I don't think that's gonna happen I don't think that's gonna happen for us a while um, for a while for us we'll have a look when we complete the next civic how far we're off it's only saving us three turns because we're actually making an okay amount of science right now I might just go apprenticeship and get it out of the way it's been on there a while yeah, I think we'll go for apprenticeship, and then we can try and work on getting some more of these Eurekas. And um, we have got two universities. Oh, no, we haven't, have we? We got that from the great scientist, but we have got the Eureka for printing, so that'll probably be next. I'm trying to maximise it, just because Australia is that far ahead. We're really going to have to try and maximise our Eurekas. Oh, cool. That's nice. <laughs> I think we just got the Eureka for that, which is pretty sweet. Um, I imagine that's because we're researching it. It gave us that one. But you know what? I'm not going to um, turn my nose up at some Eurekas, am I? Save us a couple of turns. Yep. Alright. So, Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Because if you think about it, we'll grow there. And then we can build the Kampung there next turn. So that's fine. I think it actually says growing next turn as well, the border. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, we've got the Eureka from that village. And next turn we can settle the settlers. We also need to keep thinking about building more settlers. I'm settlers crazy. Usually I'd probably tend to go for a kind of high, not wide nation. But Indonesia just seems to play with all, with all the sea resources and all the bonuses you get from there. It just seems to encourage you to found an absolute ton of cities. Right, you can sleep there for a turn and we'll assess the situation next turn. And we'll keep moving forward. I'm so thirsty. It's unreal. I've like got to go to work in a couple of hours as well. So I'm a, I'm a bit gutted about that. Because I really can't be bothered. Alright. So. Oh yes. We had some other settlers. It's been a while this. It's been a while I tell you. A couple of days and I forgot everything. So we have some settlers here and I think we were going to find a city here because of the sugar and we want the sugar resource because obviously it gives us more amenities so where would the best position be because we can make use of both these islands I think um, obviously if we found it there we can make use of them all it's just positioning it right to get maximum use of the sea resources there seems to be more sea resources to the south than the north but okay we get whale there but I think we've already got whales I'm pretty sure we've already got... Oh, look, and even if we've not... No, we can't reach that. You know what? I am, like, 100% sure we've got whales. I think... Yeah, there we go. It was one of the first amenities we actually got. So I'm going to more interested in making this a pretty powerful city than getting whales again. So where should we put it? Obviously, if we put it on this island we will be able to get the whale resource. And we can actually build kampungs around that. And um, say if we put it there, we could also get crabs, build kampungs. Hang on, one, two, oh no, we can't. Hang on, I'm confusing myself. I'm not even thinking about the best kind of city location. I'm thinking about where can we get as many resources as possible. Two, three. One. I saw one, two, three. I think we'll put it on here. We've also got the rice, which will be a nice bonus for growth. Yeah, okay, we'll put it there. Yeah. I've made a decision now, and next turn we shall settle on these lands. Okie dokie. You might as well go down and have a look at what India's got, really. Have they got anything we'd like, perhaps? Anything we'd like to get our little hands on? Got this sugar everywhere. Sugar, sugar, sugar. 
Right, yeah. Well, you need to really skip turn, don't you? Because you are just guarding the settlers. Again. Okay. I think we're progressing okay in this in this episode. <laughs> this is when Australia declares war on us, isn't it? Oh, the Kermadu. I think ten turns and we could really be in trouble with them. So, the fact we're building our navy up right now could prove quite useful. I just want to crush them. I've not liked them from the start, to be honest. Even when he pretended to be our friend, I was like, no thanks. <clears throat> no thanks, mate. Don't like you. Yeah, you get on the island. Next turn, we shall found our city. Now, where the hell do we put this? I want the marble. I've turned the... Jeffing yield icons off, haven't I? I forgot about that. I want... So whatever tile we settle on, I think, gives us a couple of production and a couple of growth from what I can gather. So it's, but obviously this is next to a river, and cities next to a river tend to be quite good. They tend, because obviously you've got the growth of the river, it works out marvellously. We shouldn't have too many problems with sea adjacency bonuses. Ah, but obviously the mountain. The mountain will be good for kind of adjacency bonuses as well. So many questions! So many things to think about. Uh, city placing, not my speciality, got to admit. Look at all this land, there's tons of land. Okay. I like it being next to a river, but I think being Indonesia, we've got a couple of sea resources here which we can definitely build kampungs on and around. I don't think we particularly need to be next to the river, and I'd like the production that this tile will give us. Obviously we'll get some production from there, but we can get good production and good growth straight away. Marble gives you culture as well, yay. I think well, I'll put it there, if that's a mistake, please do let me know in the comments. Do need to learn from these kind of things. Yeah. Yes! Okay, so we have founded Makassar. We've also left another tile free for kind of getting adjacency bonuses off the mountain. But we'll come back to that tile in a second, I think. Oh, we're coming back to it now. Okay. John Curtin's built the chicken eat. Uh, chicken eat. Chi chicken. Chuffin L. I said chicken. What the f. Right, forget about that. Alright, we have another trade route. Because we have built a harbour here. Nice. Well, now we just have problems with housing, but we're sending them builders across, which should help out with that. I'm not going to build settlers because it's going to take forever. Hmm. Okay, I think we're going to focus on you keeping you growing. Um. <laughs> Could build a lighthouse. Extra growth, extra housing, extra gold. And great admiral points. I think a great admiral, admiral could be quite good for us in this game. I think we will get one at some point, almost certainly. But then again, walls could be quite good, couldn't they? Because if we get come under attack... Having some form of outer defense, we get 50 outer defense, could be quite useful. And I know there is definitely a threat from this side, and we're, that's probably our soft underbelly. This kind of people coming from the east. I think I will build ancient walls, actually, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Build ancient walls, then move on to different things. It's just, um, we'll be better defended with ancient walls, and I will feel, I'll sleep a lot easier. I'll sleep a lot easier. Okay, so what we've been doing recently with our new cities is straight off the bat building a monument. Well, we don't need to worry about builders because we've got plenty of cash here just to go and purchase some builders. 170 gold right now, we're making 73 per turn. Don't need to really worry about that. So I think, obviously, we're going to go and purchase some builders first off so we can start working on some tiles. Um, sometimes it's always better. Sometimes it's actually better to wait till your cities at at two because you can then you've got more things to work on but I'll probably purchase them this or next turn alternatively well there's not many alternatives is there we could build a monument boost our culture hmm I think we will build a monument actually I, th I th don't think we can underrate cult underestimate culture in this game it's one of the things we are better at if I wasn't going to purchase the builders, I'd probably build builders. But because I'm going to purchase builders, I think I think we'll be fine. Right, you can sleep there. I need you to kind of offer defense to this city. We don't have many land units at all, so we'd, we'd probably need to think about that in the coming turns. 
You can build a kampung there, which should again boost um, food production and housing, which is nice. I, l I absolutely love the kampung. I really do. I think it's such an interesting, unique building. Uh, I'm, I'm really interested to see how we kind of upgrade it again. That'll be, that'll be quite fascinating. You're going over there to build some more kampungs to give these some housing. Could probably have done with the granary. That would have gave it a bit of housing. But I want the walls. I do want the walls. Magic Heat's building a Zhang and everything is running relatively smoothly. We could get another trader as well. Sorry, just having a drink again. Traders are always like really useful because they're bringing money. And if you can be rich, you've always you're standing a much better chance of winning the game. Not the most important thing, but if you can, you might as well. Oh, there's nothing in there. It's a shame we can't just kind of walk in, isn't it? Ah, American Scout. I wonder where they are. Do we know where what um Roosevelt is? It is Roosevelt, isn't it? Yeah, Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt. Where are you? Do we know where your capital is? He's friendly with almost everybody, look. He's like, everybody, nobody's fighting. No one's fighting. I don't need to intervene. How are we doing then on the kind of victory? So, oh, look. Australia's got 131 science. Nice. So they're absolutely thrashing everybody there. Now 10 technologies in front of us. So if we get into um, a war with them, we are going to be in the brown stuff. Roosevelt's got 27 technologies. So he's actually five technologies in front of us right now. Um, and he's making 39 science per turn. The camera of 26 technologies, and they're making 35 points. Oh, God. Gandhi's making it. Yep. We are at the bottom end with China and um, Japan. But we are growing. We are a growing civilization. We carry on growing. We carry on with our kind of plan here. We could turn this round. I mean, we've, got, we've just founded a city, and we have a city for next turn. I really want to found a city up here because we'd get furs as well. And there are plenty of sea resources. Pearls, crabs, etc. Which could be quite useful. But we'll see. We'll see. Who's built a wonder this time? Because we've got, like, no production to build a wonder with. Well, it's not that we've got no production, is it? It's just that when we're we so low down on our priorities right now. We, we just can't. Maybe, well, hopefully as the game progresses a little bit more... We'll be able to buy some, uh, um, build some magic per heat. Okay. So we'll get the sugar at some point. We're not in a massive rush for the sugar. The Kama aren't going to grab it from one of their cities because they're not close enough. Um, so yeah, I think we'll find it here and hopefully that'll be a good base. Once again, if you've got an alternative kind of place you'd have found it, let me know in the comments because I do read them. I reply to pretty much every comment. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm always happy to take advice on board. I know my... My city planning skills are very terrible. I mean, we could. It's just where you're gonna like place your harbor and things, because you obviously want a commercial hub as well. So, what? Oh, I think we have a naval unit around here. Don't you dare start raiding things. Piss off. Don't need this right now. How did that do? Thirty. Wow. This is going to be a long, drawn-out battle with them, isn't it? This is the problem. Because we are so spread out, our navy is so spread out. That's my worry about it. That's why we probably need a bigger navy. That's why we need to use some of our mass amounts of cash to support a bigger navy. Oh, God. You know what? Why not? Hopefully, actually, we can take one of you out. Because I don't, I don't know if we get Eureka for that. I mean, hopefully we do, but I, I don't actually know. I'm a bit worried about that because I don't even think we've got any more ships in the vicinity. I think we literally have that. Yeah, we do, don't we? Oh, well, we'll pretend we don't. I'll not get worried. I'm a pretty laid-back guy. I'll not get worried. I'll pretend I'm really happy about it. Um, Again, could purchase some builders. I think we'll go granary here because I just want this city to grow as quickly as possible. We've got plenty of sea resources around, so one oh, only only crap bays. We can't actually access these. Maybe my sitting planning was shit. One, two, three. I think it probably was. We get the crab. One, two, three. We get the whale. And beyond that, we get sweet 
bugger all. I'll not, I'll not say F all, I just said F all anyway. Oh well. Um, yeah, we'll go Granary, help you grow. Oh sorry, it's two production, um, two growth, one production on each tile. We've got the, um, the grassland, it's not great, the mar that's a marsh isn't it, sorry. The marsh always provides good growth, but I'm pretty sure we'll be using the, the horses. Let's have a look. I mean, why wouldn't we be using the horses? Yeah, we are. Because it pr provide one production as well. And the turn. Da, da, da. Have we been denounced by Australia and Persia? I think we may have been in the past. That That's something to probably worry about, isn't it? <laughs> oh, the joys of this game. You know what, though? Oh, thank you, my friend. I'm glad somebody's recognised the good we're doing for society and the world. You know what? Not all heroes wear capes. And we certainly don't wear a cape. He's, he's, he's just basically happy because we're not at war with anybody. And we, we're keeping the peace with a relatively strong military. Some, something we need to keep growing on, really, because... Oh, no. I have a feeling I'm going to end up running away from this. Oh, we fired back. Nice. I'm glad we just didn't take it. Oh, we've got... Ah, oh, we've destroyed it. We've had something purge as well. Shut up! Shut up! Oh, cool. So we've got um, apprenticeship has been um, researched, and we've also got naval tradition in one turn. So that's going to be another civic and um, sciencey thing. Sciencey, wow, sciencey thing. Technology, Alex. Technology. Okay. So this has gave us plus one production to the mine improvement. Where I don't even think we have any mines. If we do, we have very little. Oh, harbor adjacency bonuses could be pretty useful. Okay, let's have a look at what policy we've currently got in, because I was thinking of maybe changing them again. I was going to go plus one culture and science for every international trade route again, but we don't really have any international trade routes that much, so we're, we're okay. The one I'm thinking about putting in, and this might sound silly, is the settlers. Because I really want to just colonise what the he whatever I can. Because the more cities we have, the better chance we've got. We're, I mean, we're spread out anyway. Founding a load of cities has never gone particularly well for me on this game, though, because I don't think it particularly encourages you to build your civilization wide. I think it encourages you to build it more high, to be honest. Um, do we put that in? Do we put that in? We're not building any at the moment. I think I could probably just put it in after, couldn't I? Yeah, look. Oh, that's cool. When do we get the other campus district? Oh, we get it in two turns. Damn, we could get Eurekas for both, but they're all they're pr both pretty kind of short ones anyway. You know what? We'll go recorded history, because then when we get the campus in two turns, it'll finish it off, so it'll only take two turns to research. And that, oh god, Jambi needs some housing. Okay, well we can sort that out in a second, with campungs and stuff. Yeah, so that'll only really take two turns, because we'll get our second campus dis district then. And after that, we'll probably consider putting the settlers one back in. I think that's a good idea. Instead of kind of having the settlers one in now, the settlers policy in now, kind of wasting the slot for a couple of turns, because where is going to build these settlers? Nowhere. No one can build these settlers right now. Two ban could, but it'll take ages. Finish them off. Hate barbarians with a passion. I really have to admit I do. I don't think we'll get Eureka for that. No, we don't. Oh, well. Hang on, let me just make sure that this is kind of going to be a kampung for Banjama scene. We're probably going to need the Chuffin um, Builder to repair all the damage this does. Yeah, uh, my citizens. Okay, yeah, it definitely is. It definitely is. There we go. Another kampung for you. Kampungs all around. Uh, they're like they're like colonizing everywhere. That is a, that is quite a good city. I like the fact he's built the holy site there already. But think he has been there a while. Oh, no, I don't, actually, because he's chuffing block my path, the bell end. Oh. Can we not be friends again? Do I have to go? I'm going to have to go all the way around. That is ridiculous. Look at him. Persia and chuffing came bordering each other. Makes me feel sick. Um, we can't go in his borders. Be a declaration of what? You know what? I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to keep that there until either our relations improve so I can move it through or that he declares war on us because I don't like him. 
I'll get closer this time. I don't like him. And if he declares war on us, we're in a pretty good position to kind of disrupt him by having that Zhang there. So, you know what? I don't care if he's not going to allow us to move through his borders. I'm going to destroy him. Okay, so I'm going to have to end the episode here because my mum and dad have just got back and I need to get ready for work. So, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.